In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the background of any picture or image and this is coming up. It's not a game, it's a red thing. Hi there, it's Dennis, your instructor. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel. If you are old here, thanks for showing up again. And this is the picture we are going to work on today. I snapped this picture with Med Studio here. So I want to remove the background of this picture. So let's go to Photoshop. Now the first thing I will do is to import my picture into Photoshop. Here is my picture so another thing is i'm going to duplicate my picture now why do i duplicate picture because you may make mistake during cropping the picture and during that process you spoil the picture and you would like to get back the full photo so you can re-crop it again so first thing is to press ctrl j now i have two layers of my picture and this is the original while this one is a duplicate and i'll be working on the duplicates i will hide my background i'm using the polygonal lasso tool here and you may prefer starting from the down part of the picture but i will start here most people start from top i will start from down it's all your choice anyway you want to start from and you carefully click on the edges of your picture you can zoom in so you can see where you are cropping very well Make sure you don't go too far before clicking your mouse. Now I have selected this. The next thing I'm going to do is to select this other way. Now I want to make another selection. So I press shift to make another selection. And whenever you make a mistake you can easily press backspace backspace on your keyboard remember you are going on the edges always zoom in to see details very well so you know how you can crop and try to be fast enough remember you backspace whenever you observe any mistake in your cropping now i'm going to be fast how i'm bringing this picture down when you want to bring your picture down like this you press on the space bar on your keyboard so you can activate the hand tool and move your picture to any direction you want And when cropping pictures like this, especially the head, be very careful so you won't cut out the edges too sharp. Make sure the head is very smooth, the cropping is very smooth. That's why you should not go too far before clicking. Any little movements you make, make sure you click on your mouse. And you can press Ctrl plus on your laptop if you press ctrl and plus you zoom in and control and minus you zoom out make sure your cropping is very smooth I zoom out a little and here i am at the end of the photo so now I zoom out so I know what to do. Pick wherever your polygonal lasso tool is, rotate it around the picture. T 
until you get to where you started cropping then double click close to it and wait, wait, wait don't rush to delete off your background because that's the next step we are taking now to delete off the background first observe how the picture looks like we want to add faders to this picture why do we add faders so our picture will not have sharp edges now this is what we are going to do right click on your selection and you see faders here click on the faders and the, the amount of faders you add to your picture is determined by the quality of your picture like this picture is very very good and has a good quality so i will leave my faders with two if it was a bad quality picture i would have left you with one and if it's more than this you can make it three but for now let's go with two now you are set to take off your background easily click backspace or you delete press delete on your keyboard and our background is off this is a nicely cropped picture now if you observe that some places we have not taken out of this picture which is here and here so now you easily zoom into that place and right click remember we used to so you add to and click delete of the background there and we do the same thing here so now we are good to go here is our nicely cropped picture with this you can save your picture as a png file remember when you are saving pictures you have taken off background you are saving it as a png file if you save it as jpeg file it will save with a white background just as this Okay, let me give it another name one as a jpeg file okay save now look at it it has a white background but we don't want this background how do we get rid of this background we are going to save it as png now this is a png format picture you can see now it has no background you can take this picture to any other background maybe in corel draw or use it to design with photoshop and it takes the background you you assign to this picture now so this is how to crop picture using the polygonal lasso tool in photoshop now we have other tools using taking picture background but for now we have to study the polygonal lasso too thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed thanks for watching